Okay, so welcome to the ZIMSEC Pass question. Now, we are going to be solving this question. So if this is your first time of joining us, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you can get updates from us. So um, question one says, um, find the value of um, 8 divided by 0 .00, 0 0.04. Now, one thing you need to know is that um, you are not allowed to use a calculator. So to easily simplify this, multiply the numerator by 100 and um, also multiply the denominator by 100. The reason is because there are two decimal places here. When you multiply by 100, you'll be able to eliminate the decimal place. Now, this is going to be 800 all over 4. So you have 4 here is into 1, 4 into 800, you're going to get um, 200. So when you look for this value, the final answer, it's 200. Okay, so the question says simplify 1 and half minus 4 over 7 plus 2 over 3, giving the answer as a single fraction. Now, you can write this. This is 1 and half. This is minus 4 over 7 plus 2 over 3. Okay, so you know 1 and half is the same thing as 3 over 2 minus, you have a 4 over 7, and you have your 2 over 3. So, Working on this, the LCM of 2 and 7 is going to be 14. 14 divided by 2, I'm going to get um, that 7. 7 times 3, get 21. Minus 14 divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 4 is going to give us 8. So we still have your plus 2 over 3. So 21 minus 8 is going to give us 13. That will be 13 over 14 plus 2 over 3. So at this point, the LCM of 14 and 3 is going to give us 14 multiplied by 3. That will give us 2 carry 1. So that's 42. So the LCM is going to be 42. 42 divided by 14 is going to give us 3. 3 times 13 will give us um, 39 plus 42 divided by 3. It's going to give us um, 14. 14 times 2 will be 28. So this is going to be... Um, 7, 9 plus 87, carry 1, and that's going to give us 67 over 42. Okay, so um, our final answer is 67 over 42 because it says we should leave our answer at a single fraction. Okay, so the next question says, given that P is equal to minus 4, Q is equal to 3, and R is equal to minus 1, evaluate P plus Q over r now this is going to give us a um, minus 4 plus to be 3 all over um minus 1 and this is going to give us minus 4 plus 3 is going to give us minus 1 all over minus 1 so the minus is going to cancel the minus 1 divided by 1 will give us 1 so this is our answer for option a now b says Evaluate p square q minus r. Okay, so this is going to give us a um, square root of. Now p square is going to be minus four all square multiplied by q is going to be three. Then you have your minus your r is going to be minus one. So this is going to give us square root of. Minus four square is going to give us sixteen, and sixteen times three is going to give us. That's 48 minus minus 1. So um, this is going to give us 48. So minus times minus is going to be plus 1. So we'll have um, square root of 49. And that's going to give us, square root of 49 is going to give us 7. So that's the final answer in option B. Okay, so um, question 3 says, in an athletics, in an athletics competition, under 20 boys compete in a 5,000 meter race, while under 16 boys compete in a 3 meter race. A. Calculate the difference in the distance they run, giving the answers in standard form. Okay, so um, A. Difference in distance run by the several boys. How do we calculate it? Notice the under 20 boys run a total. So, under 20, 20 
distance covered will be 20 multiplied by 5,000. And that's going to give us 2 times 5 is going to be 10. You put your zeros. That's 100,000 meters covered by them. Why the under 16 distance covered, it's going to be that's 16 times 3,000. Now that's going to give us, 16 times 3 is going to give us um, 4. 3 times 6 is going to be 8. That's 48,000 meters. Now, difference in distance, difference in distance, it's going to be 100,000 subtract 48,000. Now this is going to give me 56 52,000, sorry. So this is going to be 52,000 meters. Now, how do I convert 52,000 to standard form? So this is 52,000. So you move your decimal place, this will be one, two, three, four. So it's going to be 5.2 times 10 raised to power four meters. So this is my final answer in the standard form. Okay, now option B says a lap is 400 meters. Find the number of laps in 5,000 meters. So, um, in order to solve this question, we we'll say one lap, um, or we we'll say 400 meters equal to one lap. Now, 5,000 meters will be equal to, let's call it uh, x lap. So, to get it, we're going to do x lap will be that's 5000 times 1 divided by 400 so that will be 5000 divided by 400 now your double zero cancels out your double zero so um you have um um you have um 50 divided by 4 4 into 5 is going to give us 1 you carry 1 4 into 10 is going to give us um 2 so um, you have a remainder of 2, and since it can't go, you put 0 in the 2, that's 4 into 20, we're going to get them um, 5. So the number of laps, number of laps will give us what, 12.5. So there will be a 12 and a half lap in the race.